Hi everyone, welcome back to Heavy Rescue on the Xbox. It's an early morning here in Elm Creek. I'm just now picking up the camera as I'm grabbing a cup of coffee here. I actually just finished with the first tow of the day. It was out on the interstate. We had a truck that was broken down, so I used the old S1800 International. And the old truck does pretty good here, but we got another call just came through. And the local farmer needs a hand here, so let's head on over there and help him on out. All the mods featured in today's video can be found on all platforms here and if you want to see more guys help me out by hitting the like button. We've been super busy here with the Heavy Rescue series here. Every time I bring the camera along, we just get so many calls here. But we actually have to find the field entrance. Oh, look at that. It was actually just right around the corner from the coffee shop, which is awesome. But a large cup of coffee is definitely needed today. It is going to be a busy one here. So let's see. Oh, there it is over there. It looks to be the Lizard F350. The farmer said it overheated, and I mean, it's almost 100 degrees. It's like 93 degrees out here, so hopefully we can get this towed back to his uh, shop here. That way, he could do some work here on it. So what I'm thinking is I really want to uh, tow it from the front, uh, so I will pull around, and then we'll just kind of back uh, up uh, to get back to main road here. So yeah, we'll help out the farmer. He said he already got a ride back. And he's waiting on the truck. Keep it going, keep it going. Right about there should be perfect. And we do want to make sure the truck is in neutral here so we don't damage the suspension. So we're going to hop in the truck here really quickly. Put it in neutral. Uh, make sure 4x4 four four is off. Perfect. We're all set here to bring it back to the farm. We're just going to get this back right out onto the main gravel road here. Perfect. Just enough here for the front wheels uh, to get turned. I'm just slowly trying to get back here to the main road here. This gravel road has had quite a few uh, bumps and divots in it. And I'm just trying to be careful there. So the farm is there. We just have to find the entrance. The old International sure does a good job here. I really do like this. One of the biggest reasons is the compact wheelbase design here. It's really maneuverable here. This truck has over 200,000 miles here on it, but the previous owners kept it in good condition here, which is pretty cool here. But you guys seem to be really enjoying these Heavy Rescue videos. These are a lot of fun here. We have so much Xbox videos playing and some big, big things. Uh, coming to some of the other main series here on the channel, which is super exciting here. But uh, the farmer asked us just to drop it off right at his barn. That way he will be able to work on it. He said he, uh, he works on all his own trucks and tractors. And I think he said he'll have this up and running within only a few hours, which is awesome here. Definitely has a lot of skills and knowledge uh, to make the repairs needed here. So we'll just get this backed in here. Awesome, we should be all set here. We will just get this pulled forward here. Just want to make sure it's low enough, perfect. And we'll get on back to the shop. Occasionally, guys, there are some days where I'm so busy. I only come back to the shop once, and that is to park the wrecker at the end of the day here. So we actually have to hop in one of the other trucks. We just got a phone call. It is someone that is heading home from a camping trip. They said something broke on the camper, the camper trailer. And they said the suspension, the whole thing's leaning to one side here. So I think it's probably best for us to take the rollback, the old lizard cab over here. Because I don't think it's safe to tow it. They said they hear a lot of sounds. Uh, so they uh, pulled off to the side of the road. And they're waiting on us here, which is definitely the right thing to do here. But there's so many different types of calls when you own a fleet of tow trucks. It could be a, a engine a broken down problem, a stuck in mud, a two a, a vehicles in accidents, things like that. So there's always a work for us and it keeps the trucks running. This old cab over guys is a manual here so uh, switching between some of the trucks, definitely different clutches. Uh, but I do a pretty decent job here at it and driving the cab over is a lot different 
not having a big hood with a big diesel engine under the hood here and I think I see uh, them in the distance yeah that definitely looks like an SUV here with a camper on the back and look at that guys that looks to be a lizard extra here wow that is a pretty sweet vehicle uh, there and we have a camper oh yeah this is gonna fit no problem here on the rollback Alright guys, let's take a look here at the camper. We got the rollback all ready to go here. Oh, look at that guys. We have the entire suspension on the right hand side broken. This thing is sitting like a foot lower on that side here. Yeah, this is not drivable. Definitely not safe to be going down the side of the road here. So what I'm thinking is, I am actually going to use the Jeep here. I'm going to hop in the customer's Jeep. I'm going to get this backed up onto it. That's probably safer. Might do a little bit less damage as well here with uh, having to put the jack and then to winch it up so let's give that a try I just finished tying down the camper here. We have to be super careful. We only have a few inches clearance on either side here. We're just how wide that camper truly is here. But we'll get back to the shop. Uh, the uh, customer said that since they're from out of town here, they are going to have to find a shop in the area that could uh, work on the camper here. So we'll leave it up on the rollback uh, for the next day or so here until... Uh, we kind of find out where they want this delivered here, but oh boy guys, we'll take it slow here, definitely uh, a first for putting a full camper up here, but uh, like the customer was saying, good thing this happened on the way home and not on the way there because they still got to enjoy a vacation, uh, but now they have to uh, kind of fix their camper and uh, luckily everybody is safe. Having a rollback, guys, like this is very versatile here, especially having the bigger one that could fit one-ton trucks and things like that here. We even do some hauling of equipment uh, uh, that don't fit on trailers here, so this truck stays busy probably even more than some of the other trucks here, which is pretty cool in my opinion here. But uh, this camper, I was asking him a few of the details about it. This can actually sleep about four people. He said there's a fold-out couch. There's a full kitchen. There's uh, several things in this, which is pretty neat. I kind of uh, like that quite a bit here. But we're back here at the shop, and we got that one awesome. So we'll leave it up there for a day or so until we can find out what mechanic shop we have to get that dropped off here. And guys, we have another call here. It's a delivery truck that is stuck in mud here. So I'm thinking we'll take the Mac uh, record here. This has the uh, full winches and the strongest winch truck here and this one is for recovery work here so we definitely have our hands full today with calls this mac wrecker guys is specifically for a recovery work here wind shouts things like that here i like to use the other trucks uh, for just regular towing here so this is really uh we try to set aside here because we don't want this out there towing a semi and then we get a call and this is in use here so that's kind of why we keep this solely for recovery work the details about this call was that it was a big box truck here they were delivering something to a pole barn at a uh, customer's house when they got stuck here they said upwards of i think 35 feet uh, so this is a pretty big delivery truck here. I don't think even a pickup truck is going to have the strength or the power to do it. And also that is a lot of wear and tear on a truck here. So we are arriving here at the house. We'll keep going. I don't see a delivery truck just yet. Oh boy guys, there it is there. Wow, that is pretty far down the driveway. So why don't we get back down. It looks like it is gravel driveway. The area that it, the truck's stuck in is actually on the dirt here. So I'm not sure uh why they ended up going to that uh, side uh, to that garage over there uh but uh yeah so we will be able to get this this wrecker guys has full locking differentials which mean if we lock all tires they spin at the same time here which is super helpful for us we'll get the tow bar load on down here now i i want to fold this all the way out here that way we don't have to go too too close here too we have about 15 feet of reach and this i think we'll try this before we get out the winches and we'll just keep on backing under 
Right about there should be perfect. Oh boy, I think we could do it. All right, let's give it a try. Now with mud, guys, it is super tricky here. My wheels are spinning just a little bit here, but we're moving it. We're moving it uh, so slowly here. Just want to keep the momentum if we could build it. Uh, I think we are probably just going to bring it to a road. Wow, this uh, Mac Racker, guys, did a really good job. No problem. We're even gaining some more speed here, which is sweet. Well guys, there we have it. We have another call completed here. I just have to get the chains undone here, get uh, the wrecker folded back up here, and we'll be uh, heading out our way back to the shop here. But hope you guys enjoyed today's heavy rescue video. It was a lot of fun doing some different calls here. But until next time, thanks for watching, stay tuned, and subscribe for more.